Fresh Service tutorial, how to use Fresh Service. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be going over how you can get started with Fresh Service and we're going to go step by step into creating our account and getting started with the services provided by Fresh Service. So if you take a look at Fresh Service, it is a product provided by Freshworks. Freshworks already has a bunch of different tools like marketing tools and CRM tools. And now with Fresh Service, they have a bunch of different new features specifically catering to IT service management or service management. So you guys can see over here, some of the key features include knowledge incident, SLA management, as well as AI powered service management, unified service catalogs, change management, problem management, release and workload management. Now to get started with Fresh Service, all you have to do is click on start free trial over here and you can get started over here. So you do need a business email and you're going to click on sign up for free over here. Once you do that, we're just going to wait for this sign up to be completed. It takes a couple of seconds for our sign up to be completed. So we're just going to wait over here. So as you guys can see, we have our desk ready. It only took a couple of seconds for this to be completed. Now you do have to verify your email address, obviously. So we're just going to go on ahead and make sure that we are verifying this. So we are just going to complete our verification to be able to access all of the free tools available. So I'm just going to do that and we're going to just enter so now you guys can see our account creation has been completed on Fresh Service. Now, what are the tools on Fresh Service? How can you really maximize its total potential? Well, first off, what kind of uh, services are you looking to resolve with Fresh Service? Obviously, Freshdesk is a very broad tool and they have a bunch of different integrations available. Now, we are looking specifically at services. So we're going to just go into Freshdesk and you can see in your IT operation, you have services. You can click on that over here. And this is particularly different than all of the other sections that is going to be, you know, a little bit more familiar with the general setup of Freshdesk. However, in this section, you have to create your services. So you can click on create a service over here and you can enter your service name. Now, with this, you can have your operations, uh, you know, categorized. You have the overall health of your business and technical services that you're providing. So let's say uh, we are going to provide a service of SEO optimization, whatever you want to add. Then you have your service type. So what kind of service are you providing in what specific niche? So let's say this is a business service and the impact is low. It is managed by you're going to add your software team or, you know, you can create multiple different categories of teams. We're going to move on and see those later. But after that, you have your managed by, you can enter that. And then you have your business service. So what is your SLA or availability in percentage? Then you have the cost. Then you have any kind of files that you might want to create. And you can just click on create over here. Just like that, you will get your service. Now, with that, you will get the overview of the service or the relationship of that service to other services. So let's say you are running your uh, online, you know, um, SEO tool or something like that on Freshdesk. Then you can offer power ups or you can offer, you know, hand in hand services like SEO optimization and email marketing or SEO optimization for website as well as Instagram or something like that. Then you can also create associations, alert configurations, and activities with Freshdesk. Now let's move on to the dashboard and do a top down look. So this is going to be your basic dashboard. Then you have your tickets and in your tickets, you can create lists and you can also create boards. Uh, the list section is usually reserved for people that are looking to manage their CRM. Uh, this is more of a CRM feature than it is a fresh desk service feature. It's pretty much integrated from their CRM as it was. Now, if you go on to the problem section, now the problem section is what is going to allow you to monitor all of the activity that you have in your ticket section. The tickets are going to be the basic, um, you could say, errors or issues that customers are facing, and then you can convert them into problems. You can also click on export over here to export your problems to be able to, you know, uh, keep a record of all of the ongoing issues that you might have. Then you have changes. So 
Changes can be categorized from your tickets as well. You have multiple different priorities and a few sample things would be added to your overall CRM. And you guys can see this is going to be open. And then you can see uh, this is like a sample account. So what you can do is you can have your planning, waiting approval, pending list, pending review. So you can move this forward into the next section. So uh, to for it to be resolved. And then you can, you know, just get the uh, ticket resolved. Now, after that, you have your releases section. Your releases section is just going to be a section where you can monitor your own updates. And then you have your most important section in the service section, which is your assets. So in your assets, you have inventory, software, contracts, and purchase orders. Now in inventory, you're going to find all of these services that you are providing. Uh, if you're providing physical products, you can have those as well. Then you have your software. In your software, you can see you have your uh, you know, type of software, contract value, managed by, and more. So if you click on your ad on the top, you can add, let's say, we want to add a asset. And you can just create a asset from over here. You can choose your asset type. Let's say it is a service that we are providing and you can add the entire detail of that as well as different properties. So the service properties are needs attention or if it is a operational service that you are providing. Now, next up, you have your project section, which is pretty much a project manager for you to manage your services, as well as a workload manager that you can use to help and, you know, manage workload for all of your employees and the general uh, goal setting that you're doing or milestone setting that you are doing for your business. Next up, you have your solution section, which is actually basically a knowledge base that you can build for your service tools. So, you can click on add new over here. You have multiple different articles, folders, and categories. Obviously, your articles are going to be your most smallest bit or bite-sized piece of information. For example, you're providing SEO optimization. And people have asked, what does SEO optimization for a website include in your service? So you can write an article about that. And you can tag that article in a folder called SEO optimization related queries. And you can put it in the category of SEO optimization. So people that are looking for SEO related information on your knowledge base can easily access all of that information all together now next up you also have a analytics and reporting section on uh, fresh service and in this section you're going to be able to get a bird's eye view as well as be able to see your trends and your agent performance as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with using freshdesk now the best part about this is that you can integrate any kind of app over here so on the top right, you have your marketplace apps and there are a bunch of different marketplace apps that you can integrate to further ease up your work and provide your services and any kind of service product or business that you're running can be really helped by a simple integration. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave them in the comment box down below and I will catch you guys in the next video.